Well, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Laura's Lupus channel. Hi, my name is Laura and I just wanted to jump in and touch bases with you guys today. I know that it's been a long time and it's all my fault. I take complete responsibility for it. There is no excuse for taking such a long time to touch bases with my favorite people, which are my followers and my subscribers and the lupus community. And so it's all my fault. I wanted to pop in and to let you guys know how grateful I am and how thankful I am for each and every one of you. And that I truly do, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you and I love each and every one of you. And that there's not a day that has went by, that goes by, that I don't keep you guys lifted up in prayer. You know, that I don't pray for the lupus community. And you know what? I'm still praying for that cure. You know, with 2020 right around the corner, who knows? Who knows? I'm so excited for 2020. We just might get that cure in which we eradicate this lupus. But anyway, how was your holidays? How was your holidays? Mine's was good. It was great, actually. Um, we did a traditional uh, Christmas with uh, my family. Um, we created a lot of new traditions but we kept a lot of the old ones we created some fantastic memories as you guys know I am a grandmother now and this new generation of people they want to create their own traditions they want to do things just a little bit different and so I agreed with that as long as they agreed to keep some of the traditions that I'm accustomed to grandma went with the flow and I agreed to some of the new traditions and we had a blast we had a blast. 2019 was a great Christmas for me. But anyway, I wanted to pop in and just to say Happy New Year because I don't think I'm going to be making another recording uh, for 2019. We'll start anew in 2020. And don't go anywhere. Stick around because there are bigger and better things coming for the Laura's Lupus channel. But you have to stick around to see. Anyway, also I wanted you guys to know that you know, this feeling that we have right now, you know, this feeling of love and joy and peace and goodwill and good tidings towards men, let's take some of that and tuck it into our pocket. And we don't just have to feel this way during the holidays. We can pull it out of our pocket and we can go into 2020 feeling this way. We can keep this momentum going. You know, as a matter of fact, um, during church service today, my pastor stated that we need to leave the stuff. And we know what he means by the stuff. The stuff of 2019, let's leave that. Let's keep that back there. You know, leave that stuff from 2019 in 2019. And let's take all the good. And let's take the good uh, into 2020. Let's keep this momentum going into 2020. Also, something that stuck out to me during his message is that in 2020, he said that we should be thinking about being people of solution instead of being a people or a part of the problem. Let me say that again. We should be a part of the solution instead of the problem. And so I just wanted to come in and say Happy New Year to everyone. I love each and every one of you. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. And let's make this year a good year. Let's make this year a good year. And let's, you know, out of the recesses of our heart, out of the pocket of our heart, all of this good that we're feeling, you know, let's take it into 2020. We don't know what's going to happen. But again, like Pastor said, let's be a part of the solution and not the problem. And so, Happy New Year, everyone. God bless. Peace. Um you know, take care of yourselves. Let's make this a good one. And I love you all. Happy New Year and bye for now. See you in 2020.